Hey guys, it's Bradley, aka The God of Nerds, as I like to call myself, and we are here today with a book review. I know I've done a couple of TV reviews, movie reviews. Today, I want to do my first comic book review, and we are doing it on Marvel's History of the Marvel Universe. This is the Treasury Edition. It is a pretty tall, lengthy book, um, probably about the size, probably about the... Um, the height of about two trade paperbacks and it's just uh that's that's my hand for comparison like it's a freaking huge book um but this book here uh was released in 2019 and basically it chronicles the um the history of the marvel universe in chronological order basically just tells you about like the uh the major events um throughout the marvel timeline and it ends around um and it ends around 2019 when this was published so anything that's came out in the last couple years um it's not going to be included in this book um this is the back just gives you a nice little description of what it's about the greatest tale ever told and you've never seen it like this and and they're right with that um this covers history of the marvel universe one through six by mark wade javier rodriguez and alvaro lopez and this is a very, very good book. This is probably one of my favorite books that I own. Um, I really enjoy, like, when it comes to, like, comics, I love reading about the history of the world, um, of the universe that they're in. This is a nice little, uh, nice little picture here. The same, uh, the same panels in, uh, one of the later parts of the book. It's a nice little splash page. Um, <clears throat> but no, uh, so basically the story of this book... Um, it begins with Franklin Richards, the son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm, and he's having a conversation with Galactus. This is this takes place at the very end of time. Basically, the Marvel Universe is dying and it's about to be resurrected into the next universe. And Franklin Richards is, you know, sad and because he feels like all this stuff was basically for nothing. Uh, but Galactus, you know, is trying to remind him that no, it was for something. And uh, basically, this whole story is narrated by Galactus, telling Franklin the, his, the story of the entire Marvel Universe. It starts with the creation, um, the birth of the, uh, the Infinity Stones, or the Infinity Gems, as they're called in the comics. And then it just goes into... Um, the the first uh the first issue mainly covers a lot of the like early cosmic origins um the gods um and the origins of a lot of beings that would affect um the main marvel heroes later in their uh in their world and then I'll skip ahead a little bit here so yeah but no this book is really good i love the artwork um i think it was really well done and uh, I just like how they were able to tell the entire history of Marvel Comics in chronological order. And it, it flows very well. Like, it doesn't feel like you're just jumping from thing to thing to thing. It feels very coherent and, like, it, it makes sense. And I really like that a lot. And, oh, here we go. Here we got uh, the appearance of the original Human Torch from Marvel Comics number one. The very first Marvel comic book. And then Human Torch versus Namor, the first Marvel crossover. And uh, if you don't know a lot about the history of Marvel, I highly recommend this book because it will give you a very good insight in like the origins of characters that you may not even know about. And, you know, it's just really, really, just really cool. Bucky Barnes, and he's going to become the Winter Soldier. And this book is actually pretty cheap. You can get this around, I'd say probably about 20 bucks on Amazon um, if you buy it in store. What's the cover price on this? Cover price is uh, $30 uh, US and almost $40 in Canada. So even if you buy it brand new, it's still not that expensive. But you can get it on a Amazon, eBay for like 20 bucks. Doctor Strange, one of my favorite Marvel characters. Benedict Cumberbatch does a great job portraying him in the MCU. Now we're getting into the 60s. We're getting into like the main Marvel Age, Hulk and the Thing. Let's skip ahead a little bit here. And then uh, at the end of every issue, it also has uh, these cool variant cover arts. These are really nice. I think next we're getting into like the late 90s. These are the 2000s. Skip a little bit more ahead. Up oh, here's Civil War. Cool little splash page here. Love that. Captain Marvel, ooh, Moon Knight. 
And then this is the last issue. I think this goes into like uh, the 2010s. It ends around 2019. Ooh, Superior Spider-Man, Spider-Verse. That's great. Nice splash page of all like the next generation Marvel heroes, Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, Gwenpool, very nice. Go a little ahead here. Oh, The Return of the Fantastic Four. Very good. Galactus speaking with Franklin. And then it does also uh, talk about some of like um, the alternate timelines, alternate futures as well, which is really, really cool. And I love this ending here. This is that splash page from the beginning of the book. This massive splash page with literally almost every Marvel character that you can think of is on here. Even like, you know, you got Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Avengers, all of them. And then you even got like super obscure characters like Sleepwalker, like even people like that that most people don't know about. They even brought them in. And it's just really cool. This is the last page and it ends with Franklin, with Galactus dying and Franklin becomes the new Galactus for the next universe, which is really, really cool. A universe of marvels. That's how they end the book. And then the entire second half of the book is actually the annotations. And it basically tells you um, what comic all the stories from the pre, from the main story um are from and that's really really cool i do like that this is also fun to read through to, uh as well but no if you are a huge marvel fan and you want to learn more about the history of marvel and like the chronological order of like how the events happened highly recommend this you can find it barnes noble amazon ebay anywhere basically that you can um you can buy marvel books but uh yeah this is a really good book highly recommend it um, I'm wanting to do more book, uh, book reviews. So if you all like this, let me know. And, uh, yeah, try to get some more out for you guys. That was the history of the Marvel Universe review, and I will catch y'all later. Peace.